When was the last time you worked? Yesterday. Was it a successful mission? Yes. I shot him twice in the heart and watched the spark drain from his eyes. That's Jodie Comer in her Emmy Award winning role as a ruthless assassin in the hit show Killing Eve. Now, Erin Moriarty tells us she's bringing down the house on Broadway. The nominees for the best actress are Jodie Comer is having a very good year. Jodie Comer. In April, she took home a prestigious Olivier Award for Best Actress in Prima Facie. This play has changed my life. One month later, she was also nominated for a Best Actress Tony for the same role on Broadway. And Comer recently had a birthday. She turned 30. Did you ever expect the impact that this play and your performance has had yeah. on an audience? No. No, I, I think we were all really taken back by it, actually. Um, but I remember when we did the first preview in London, and this was the first time performing in front of an audience, a lot of it was crying, like, very audibly and very quite loud and unashamed and very guttural. All rise! But maybe what's most remarkable is that this is Comer's first time on either a New York or London stage. The judge looks at me. It's your witness, Miss Ensler, yes. You know, I've spoken very kind of publicly, honestly, about the fact that I'd auditioned a lot for theatre and a lot of the feedback was, you know, the fact that I wasn't classically trained, hadn't been to drama school, that was kind of a hindrance, you know. So then I got sent this one-woman play written by Susie Miller to be on the West End. You know, I was just like, wow, you know, it just seemed like such a gift. My role is to ask questions. That but while Comer may be new to theatre goers, she's she a familiar me. face on British TV, where she's appeared in series oh, since her early teens. Madness. Even in supporting roles, her expressive face and ability to emote easily leaves an impression. I met Taylor Swift very briefly once at an awards, and she very kindly came up to me and introduced herself, and she said, I loved Dr. Foster. And I was like, wow, of, of, all, the, of all the things, it's Dr. Foster. So you never quite know what, it, what it's going to be for people. Don't do that. For most people, it's the BBC series Killing Eve. For four seasons, Homer played Villanelle, a psychopathic Russian assassin obsessed with a British MI6 agent, played by Canadian actress Sandra Oh. I think you're going to bleed to death. Comer's convincing performance in Killing Eve that won her a Best Actress Emmy in 2019 almost cost her the part in Prima Facie. I heard that you were hesitant to pick Jodie I was, first. I was. And it, yeah. Susie Miller is the playwright. When the name was brought up, I said, oh, no, no, she's great, but no, not her. And the, the director said to me, can I just ask why not Jodie Comer? And I said, well, she's Russian. Why would we cast a Russian actor in a story, a British story? And they went, she's not Russian. She's, a, she's like, she's British. She's from Liverpool. And so her and I laugh about that quite often now. I think, you know, you did such a good job. You nearly did yourself out of this job. <laughs> I mean, society tells us law school means you're important. In Prima Facie, Comer plays Tessa Ensler, a young, scrappy British barrister from a working-class background who has no problem defending male sex offenders. Did he intend to cause harm? Her word against his... That is, until she herself is assaulted by one of her male colleagues. When Comer's character goes to court and tries to explain why she didn't fight off her attacker, many in the audience seem to relate and audibly sob. This line of questioning, it's making me look confused. Were you expecting the tears? I wasn't. And does that happen in every performance? Every performance. Miller, who worked as a human rights lawyer in Australia and still lives there, says she wrote prima facie, a legal term that means self-evident, to highlight just how much the British and American justice systems fail women who bring sexual assault cases. The statistics speak for themselves. I mean, one in 10 women actually report a sexual assault. Out of those, I think it's one in 10 that go to court. And out of those, there's a 1.3% 
conviction right. I mean, that's astonishing when you think about it. The prosecutor prosecutes. Prima Facie is a demanding, draining one-woman show. Comer is alone on the stage for more than an hour and a half. This is your first time on Broadway. Mm. First time on a London stage, and you pick this play? <laughs> how do you not? I saw it on sale. I was like, I have no idea how I'm going to execute this or how I'm going to get to a place of being confident and comfortable enough to do this, never mind like once, but like eight shows a week. But I was so excited by that journey. Like if I don't take this, another actress is going to, and I'm going to hate myself for the rest of my life. Comer had to research the part of a barrister, which is the British equivalent of an American yeah. trial lawyer. Yeah. But she had no trouble playing a young woman from Liverpool, the blue-collar town north of London. It's where Comer also grew up. Your brother, he got into a fight last night. What? Not again. Are you also that same scrappy person who's trying to defy um, like expectations? Like, am I scrappy, guys? I think I am. <laughs> I'm definitely scrappy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. There's, there's a lot of me in her, for sure. Comer says her parents and younger brother never doubted she'd succeed as a professional actor, even without formal training. They were just like, if you're going to commit, commit. Like, you know, we'll, we'll be here for you. And commit she has. Comer has not missed a single performance. How do you prepare every each time before you do a performance? Is there something you have to do to get yourself ready? Yeah, anything that can kind of like get the energy up and get the nerves out. Live theater like this has given Jody Comer something film like and TV never can. When you're in a theater, when you're performing on stage, it's so immediate. And it's really transactional in a sense of, you know, you are giving and you are also receiving. Um, you know, it is very much a kind of relationship, which now I, I just adore.